The long troubled Church Street South apartments in New Haven are coming down. Demolition started today. News 8's Noel Gardner live in News 8 Control tonight with more on what's going up in their place. Noel. Darren and Jocelyn, city leaders, say tearing down the 50 year old housing complex will bring new life to the hill to downtown area. The property owner tells me in its place there will be market rate apartments mixed with affordable housing. This property had been allowed to fall into disrepair over many years, and the residents here were the ones caught in the middle of a bad situation. Demolition work is underway for Church Street South. 301 residential units in 22 separate buildings, along with a couple of non residential buildings, were cleared out and prepared for demolition. This comes after the city inspected the apartments and found that people weren't living in safe and secure housing. So, but from what I heard, you know, it wasn't livable. You know, it was a lot of mold and, you know, it just wasn't livable. Those inspections are what led to and kicked off the process of the condemnation and the actual relocations here. It was a two year massive relocation process. The city worked to find over 250 families a new place to live. People are relieved the apartment units are being demolished. It doesn't look good. It be across from a train station. The property owner says new housing will sit on the 13 acres of land across from Union Station. That includes 300 affordable units. I think it'll bring up the area, and it's best for this area because of the train station. People say they would like to see something nice go up. Um, some kind of shopping mall, strip mall, some restaurants, maybe a hotel for people, you know, that are coming off the train that get stuck here. I'm thinking either townhouses, condominiums, or something having to do with people getting off the train are able to stay here. Some residents say the city needs more affordable housing. I hope they do something positive with it. As long as everybody who needs housing is able to get housing, that's what I find is the most important issue. The property owner tells me it will take 18 months to two years to demolish the complex. Reporting live tonight in News 8 Control, Noel Gardner, News 8.